because the consequences of not having a choice are that we may have to accept a disastrous Brexit that will put tens of thousands of Scottish that. jobs in line. And you used to agree with me on when that. When you became Kedia. First Minister. You and I spoke the day after the EU referendum, and you told me then that you thought the change occasioned by Brexit meant that you thought Labour should stop opposing a referendum. Now, you've changed your mind, but why should everybody else in Scotland I always be denied? Said, I always said that I would support anything you would do to build a relationship with Europe as long you know as it didn't come at the expense you know of our that's relationship. Not quite true. Well, listen to the that's question. Not quite true. question. When you became Test the first deal. minister, you promised to be a first minister for all of Scotland. Can I just walk you back about four minutes? Did you just tell people that you had a private conversation with Kez Dugdale last June where she says that she was going to drop Labour's opposition to independence? She said that she thought that the no. Brexit changed everything and that she uh, didn't think that Labour could any longer uh, go on opposing a second independence referendum. Uh, she is entitled to change her mind. I accept that. But what I don't think any politician is entitled to do is to uh, deny people in Scotland a choice over their own future. Well, let's have a look then about changing minds because... People across the country, they know that you back independence. Uh, Kezia Dugdale, you might want to respond to the point that was made by the First Minister earlier about that little tete-a-tete -tete after the referendum. I've just been very clear. We did speak on the phone after the European Union referendum result to share how devastated we were about it because of the damage it was going to do to Scotland's economy and to future jobs. But the idea that I would do anything other than protect the United Kingdom and fight for us to remain within the UK is an absolute nonsense. Nicola Sturgeon, response to that? Well, look, you know, I know what was said. I'm not having a go at you, Kezia. You're entitled to change your mind. I think what you're not entitled to do, though, is to always be having a go at me just for wanting to give people in Scotland a choice. Okay. That is the matter at the heart. Okay, have to move on very briefly, Ms Davidson.